Okay, now here is some exciting news for all the Samsung fans, especially the ones who wish to buy a Samsung foldable phone in the near future. As reported by Sam Mobile, there has been some rumors or reports about the expected prices of the upcoming Samsung foldable devices, such as the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Flip Phone, which are due for launch in the next couple of weeks. Apparently, the prices of these upcoming phones are expected to be cheaper than their predecessor. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 is expected to cost anywhere between $1650 and $1750, which is cheaper than the launch price of Galaxy Z Fold 2 launched last year for which the quoted price was roughly $2000. And the expected price of Z Flip 3 is anywhere between $1,045 and $1,110, whereas the previous iteration of this phone costed about $1,500. Now, though these prices are steep, they seem to be attractive for these new generation of foldable devices, isn't it? That being said, I am just hoping that these prices are not for the stripped down versions of these devices if at all they were to launch them in different specifications. For example, the phone brand like Motorola launched Moto Razr at about $1500 which was rocking a mid-range Snapdragon 710 chipset which was not at all worth it. Now this price revision is bound to happen if the OEMs want more people to buy this technology. However, these phones will remain for the niche premium segment and perhaps in the future we can see this tech reaching out to wider audience when the siblings of these devices start popping up. For example, the Samsung Note series remained top of the line for Samsung for long but then they wanted to cater to wider audience who wanted to experience the Note device at a lesser cost. That's when the Note 10 and Note 20 series were offered in two versions at two different price points. But ironically, the stripped down versions didn't get the expected welcome, especially with Note 20. In fact, it pushed the sales of Note 20 Ultra. Anyways, now coming to the upcoming foldables, if the rumors are believed to be true, we can definitely expect a slightly lesser price compared to the predecessors, which is a real good news for all the Samsung fans who are planning to get their hands on on the foldable devices. And as we all know, there is no Note 21 series this year, so we can expect some action happening in foldable segment. We can expect good trading options for these upcoming devices, as well because Samsung wanted to put these foldable tech in more people's hands and create a base for these devices as they did with their Note series. Now my question to you is, would you ever consider buying a foldable device from Samsung and what would be the right price for a foldable phone according to you? Let me know in the comment section below. Now if you ask me, I feel that yes, foldable tech is amazing. We are in the third generation this year and I'm sure this tech will keep improving generation by generation by leaps and bounds and I'm definitely in for Z Fold's form factor. But when it comes to Z Flip, I'm not really a fan because you just flip it to get a regular phone's form factor. But the Z Fold, when unfolded, offers a bigger screen real estate like a tablet device. So that is more practical and usable and that makes more sense to me. Anyways, that's all I have here. Show some love by smashing that like button if you find this video useful and make sure to subscribe to the channel to be a part of Apex community. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.